Is it free speech or asking taxpayers to pay the bill for security? By protecting the unpopular voices, we make sure that all voices are protected. Pro-life group is appealing a decision by a university to try and impose a $17,000 security fee in order for them to protest. Now, the former student believes the university infringed on their freedom of expression. Amberly Nickel is behind this court case, now an expectant mother. She feels the University of Alberta tried to put a gag on her group, the U Alberta Pro-Life Club. Right, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, uh, abortion is a very important ethical issue to discuss. A protest held in March 2015 involved her group showing pictures of developing and aborted fetuses. The display sparked a much larger counter-demonstration by pro-choice students. The university then told the group that if it wanted to hold a similar protest that following year, it must pay 17500 in security fees. About double the cost of tuition for the average student. Nicole sued the school. Last year, they lost their case in a lower court. Today, before the Court of Appeal, lawyers for the group argued the university acted in bad faith. But the university insisted they did nothing wrong and were not trying to muzzle the unpopular voice. However, the students we spoke to today feel they did just that. Kind of like a way to like stop them from protesting in the first place. And we already pay so much to go to school here, so why would we need to pay a protest? I don't think the students should have to pay at all. Nicole has been fighting this battle for almost four years, and while she can't predict the outcome of this case, she knows one thing for sure. It is going to have a huge impact. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.